Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Are you ready for some more nerdy rodent geekery? Yeah? Okay, so you're stuck inside and you want to talk to people online, yeah? But you also want to have a little bit of fun by doing weird things with your camera. A bit like me with this pickle. Yeah? Yeah? You want to do that? Okay, so as a quick heads up, I'll be using some techniques that are explained in more detail in my other OBS videos. I've got an OBS tips video and another one on fun with virtual camera. So I'll put the links to both of those at the end of this video. So if you want to go and check those out, you can have more information on all that sort of stuff. Anyway, to follow along with this one, you'll need to have OBS Studio and the virtual camera plugin installed, as well as Snap Camera as well, which is what gives me this little pickle. And you might also want to install the Stream FX plugin because that'll let you do some other things too. Ooh. Anyway, so if you're not familiar with Snapcam, the uh, URL is on the screen there. Yeah, you've got the URL there. And it's also in the description too. So yeah, check out the description for, for lots of other stuff. With the virtual camera plugin for OBS, that basically lets you output any of these scenes as if it was a camera. So yeah, that's what that's used for. And also for some sneaky effects. Mm. To start the virtual camera in OBS, you just have to go oh, to this side, up here to tools, and then virtual cam, oh, and start it. Now, I've got it set to buffered frame zero as well, uh, which is quite useful for some of the effects. But you can also, you know, change that up to 20 and it gives you a different effect later. But that's that's how you how you start and stop it. Um, auto start is, is quite a useful option because then as soon as you start OBS, you don't have to come into tools and click start. It just it just does it for you. So that, that might be quite quite useful. Might be something you like. Now, once you've stopped it, the other thing I'm doing here as well is I'm using a low res profile. So this is all in the 1280 by 720. I go into settings here. Got my video. So this is 1280 by 720. Now, if you do have your virtual cam running, so I've got it started here and try to change your settings back into there, you'll find it says video output is currently active. So you have to set those first before you start your camera. The first example here is very basic. It's just got some text, little picture and snap camera. So you've got text, image and snap camera in there. So that's quite useful. You know, you can have your little text each time you connect to the call and also whenever you change your uh, your snap camera so if you become a sock then you will still have the little thing up there saying who you are so it's quite useful i like that yeah the basic change but you can have even more fun i know right are you re are you ready for more fun yeah okay let's have a look at the next scene mm. oh oh it, it's gone all weird. This this is the pickle tunnel. Welcome to the pickle tunnel. Hmm. Okay, so this is like very very similar. I've got some text up the top here, video capture device. But then also got a little loopback camera as well that feeds back on itself. Wee wee. Now, if I turn the uh, loopback camera off, there you go. You see, it's it's just. Just the normal scene with the pickle tunnel at the top. And then look back back on again. It goes all weird. Ooh, yeah. Another thing you can do is make a specific scene just for your camera. And then you can use all the, the nested scenes. So here I've got the I've got the pickle camera. And the pickle camera is just the uh here we are, just the device snap camera I've got in there. But I've also got couple of filters so I've got a chroma key on there keying out the yellow background I've also resized the image a little bit cropped it to uh, cut out those borders on the sides so I've just got a, a clean pickle so once you've got your clean pickle you can then use that pickle inside whoa other scenes so here I've got the 
echo cam scene at the top there, so that's the one there. The loop back camera, and then I've also got color source and another color source just to give those different colored effects. Ooh. No, I've got uh, another scene here. It's got different set of effects. So here I've got the same sort of text and the image and the, the pickle going back in lots of different things. So text at the top there, image, pickle cam scene from earlier, loop back camera, turn the loop back camera off. That's that's just how the scene looks. Text, image, pickle camera, turn the loop back on. Whoa, that is all weird. So yeah, now if you want to make scenes for other ones, I've got my mask cam scene here for different filters. If I change between those two, you, you see it doesn't, it doesn't really work, does it? Because right, this one's set up specifically for the mask. Okay, yeah. So this mask cam on here, go to the filters. This one's just a luma key. That basically just gets rid of that black background, makes it transparent. Now when I go to the mask cam scene, whoa. That's a lot of masks. Exactly the same sort of thing. We've included the mask there, and then some more video capture devices and a color source. Yeah, yeah. Right, so now you've probably got a feeling for the sorts of things that you can do with this. Let's make one from scratch, shall we? Yeah, yeah, you wanna know how to do all these different things? And yeah, okay. So I have to make a new scene down here. Add new scenes, we'll just call this basic cam scene. Okay. Now, in this basic cam scene, I'm going to add video capture device. Uh, just make it a new one. I'll just call this uh, basic snap cam. Then we'll pick the snap camera. There we go. Hello. Now, we already used this one, so, you know, we could do something with a potato, or, or maybe I could be a, a banana, or, or maybe just, no, alright, how about, ooh, yeah, floppy disk, I'm, I'm a geek, and, and a nerd, so yeah, let's, let's go with a floppy disk. Now, obviously, the thing I want to do with this one, is add, that chroma key effect. I think the defaults will be just fine. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. So now I've just got the disc and I've got, got rid of the background. And now it's time to make the fun scene. So I'll add a new scene down here. Just call this basic cam roll scene. That'll do. And in here, we add that scene basic cam scene. There we go. Okay, I'll just lock that one down for now. Now we add that loop back camera. Ooh. Okay, so this is add video capture device. I'll just call this uh, this loop back. Okay. The thing to select here is the OBS camera because that's what we're outputting go. Now you see this adds it at the top and the, the picture's sort of frozen so just drag that down underneath or click with the down arrow and then there you go. Now see one thing that you get is all these infinites and they don't sort of ever clean up unless you add some filters. So on the filters for the loopback device Usually the thing that I add is a color correction because this has got loads of different things. Now these all sort of stack up on themselves. So if you drop the opacity just a little bit, so say down to 87, then they sort of fade out a lot more nicely and you get this sort of motion blur effect. Ooh. And you know you can also do other things on these field on the kind of correction. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, maybe keep it the same opacity but drop the brightness, you could do that as well. That would give a similar sort of thing. Fewer trails there, but the 
the disc bit at the top stays longer. So yeah, there's, there's all sorts of things you can uh, you can play around with in there. I like dropping the opacity, so I'm gonna lower that down. I also like a little bit of a hue shift as well. And then you get some variance in the colors you can't see it at the moment because it's all black and white. Um, but if the eyes were there, you would. Now, there are a few other tricks you can do with this uh, loopback camera here. So the first one you can do is you can make it a little bit bigger. And there you can see you get this flowing effect. Make it go lower or make it go higher to one side. And also make it a little bit smaller. You can actually drag the corner, there we go. And they fade off down into infinity, getting smaller. And there you can see the slight hue shift on the eyes, getting a little bit more red. Then, of course, the other thing you can do is you can edit the transforms. So, for example, transform, you could uh, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. There we go. Whee! Then you get this sort of tunnel. Really quite weird, isn't it? So you could duplicate that, pop it on the other side as well. You can also, again, transform, edit transform if you want a, a specific rotation. So uh, maybe you wanted, um, I don't know, 18 degrees. There you go. I have 18 degrees. You get this sort of curling, curling effect. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, that will obviously, if, if, you know, impact the whole scene. So if I add color source, and we'll give it a sort of uh, orangey color here and drop this color source to the bottom okay so woo there you go you've got like a tunnel there and you, the, you know that hue shift i added is is much more prominent here you know all the different colors going down yeah that's quite funky and then if you wanted to add some text you can add some text so add text those pick a different font I think uh, yeah like that and uh, slightly smaller size than 260 my text there. and then depending on where you put your text it goes a little bit better there doesn't it yeah hello on the disc and then you did install that uh, stream effects plugin you'd have things like user-defined shaders and uh, 3d transform so you can change the pitch on this for example and you'll get different effects still or the your you know, play with it and get whatever shapes you fancy and of course that leaves some more space behind there but like I did in the other pickle cam if you want to add another color source know uh, you can have lots and lots of different colors going on shift that back to the default because I quite like that one so then obviously you're you're ready to to shift into stream yards or whatever program you're going to use to go and chat to your friends with so let's go and shift into stream yards now yeah okay so here I am in stream yard and obviously I can change my camera by clicking on the little cog and instead of snap camera I can just select OBS camera and then there you go you've got the, the scene that you created in OBS which you can now use as your virtual camera on your video conference calls I hope you've been inspired to uh, maybe create something of your own and have a little bit of fun rodent out